solve using a matrix equation. And I'm going to keep in mind that I want to find x equals a inverse times b, where a is a matrix with the coefficients of x and the coefficients of y. b is a matrix containing the constants, 8 and 9, and x is a matrix containing variables, the variables in the system of equations. I need A inverse. A inverse is 1 over the determinant of A, AD minus BC, times the matrix D, negative B, negative C, A. Therefore, A inverse is 4 times negative 6 minus negative 3 times 8 times this matrix, reversing A and D. So I take A, I put it in the D position, D goes in the A position. For B, I'm going to reverse the sign. I'm going to make it 3. For C, I'm going to reverse the sign, and that's negative 8. Okay, here I have 4 times negative 6, that's negative 24, minus negative 3 times 8, that's negative 24. And you can probably already see what the issue is. That A inverse would equal 1 over negative 24 minus negative 24 times this matrix. And we've got a problem. Because taking this one step further, this gives me 1 over 0. And it really doesn't matter what this matrix is over here because this is undefined. A inverse does not exist. I cannot use this method. So the situation is that there's no unique solution. There may be no solution at all. There may be an infinite number of solutions. But this method only works if there is a unique solution, a unique solution for x and a unique value for y that satisfies the system of equations. So I started out trying to use my method and writing this matrix equation. And I got my matrices OK. But once I got to this step, finding A inverse, then I discovered that the determinant for this matrix A is 0. And in that case, A inverse does not exist. I can't use this method. Okay, that concludes this lesson on solving systems of equations using matrices. Thanks for visiting educator.com.